Who's that? Um, an honest tradesman, sir. Do you have anything that needs sharpening? Knives, razors, utensils. Thank you very much, but not at the moment. Sorry. Sir. <laughs> Come to me, from the butcher to the surgeon, and I'm conscientious. I'm very sorry, sir. A moment. I've lost my little friend, sir. I had him with me when I came in, and now he's gone. He's probably just asleep somewhere, and a, a bit of bread, or in a moist ear. Uh. But you see, sir, I think he might be in your room. He'd like you. There's no one in here except me, honestly. But he's very small. You wouldn't notice him. If I could just take a look. Believe me, I'm completely alone. So, perhaps another time? Sorry. You're only trying to put yourself to sleep. Like, this whole podcast thing, this whole Nick the Rat persona, this whole relationship you have with Diane, this whole relationship you have with every other human being is only an effort to put you asleep, sir. You're not really actually trying to understand life, sir. You are only using life to entertain you, to put you asleep from finding out what life is. So all these questions you ask, they're not real questions, sir. A real question you have to put your life to, sir. You can't just ask it willy-nilly. What are ghosts? (laughs) Ghosts or right in fucking front of you, sir. If you could look, you'll find out that a ghost is a dishonest person. I ask you, where do all dead things live? Well, the consciousness is made up of the past, sir. All dead things are of the past. So, all dead things live in your mind, sir. Yes, sir. So, everything that you're thinking of is a dead thing. It's static. It's not moving. There's no life to it, sir. Even though it gives you sensation, it's a material process. There's no real energy to it, sir. (laughs) Well, brother, I guess I'll leave you on that night. Uh, on that note, brother, may God bless you this evening, sir. May you walk in the woods or the Hey, Nick. Uh, you know me. I'm a I'm a label reader, and uh, well, I've got a lot of this uh hand sanitizer kind of left over from you know all the. Uh, the coof deal. Anyway, so I'm reading the label, and uh, one of the ingredients is glycerin. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, do not use hand sanitizer as lube. Bye. I gotta wash this off. <laughs> it burns. 
That was a lot of what? Ow. Uh, hello? What? Is this? Is the microphone on? I can't hear. I think the, uh, I think the microphone is on. Hi. Hi, everybody. This is, um, Make the Rat Radio, episode 300 and... 83, I think. Diane, where are you? Okay, look. Um, ah, uh, huh. That, that last song was, it was very wubby. It was 386, says Mr. Her Harmonica in the, uh, in the chat room. In the hashtag sewer chat. Uh, I think I'm in the sewer tonight of, of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it's April 26th, 2023 currently. We have so many voicemails. So, so many, 
so many voicemails. Here, listen, listen to this one. Have you ever woke up and were just silent with yourself for a while? Yes. I wanted to talk to you about your last podcast and what you were saying a few times about words, that we're here because of words, etc. We are, yeah. What I'm saying is I'd like to learn with you. But... There can't be any learning if one has an idea about what one is one what one is going to learn about. If one already believes a certain way about what one is going to learn about, then one's learning turns into trying to justify or prove or disprove what one already knows. This is, are you preaching? You can't preach in the sewer. So we, we never really learn. We call it learning. Uh, we label it with the lear word learning. <laughs> but I question if it is. Oh, we're saying it's not. I'm sorry. I'll try not to get lost in my acting here, sir. You see, I'm learning with you how, how to, how to, how to give this to you. So, if you want to learn with another, you have to be able to let go all of your ideas about anything, all your beliefs about anything. Um, you, you have to like commit preachery above ground. Absolutes, or that new pathways in my mind is living. There may be a truth to that, but those, but those in, in, invariably aren't true ideas, and they limit you in your observation and your learning. True. It's like if, if I believe something and I want to go look around, it's like the... Ow. Ow. Yeah. Hello? Oh, crap. That was the end of the voicemail. Hello? Hey, Nick. Hi. Uh, question. So I okay. went we were talking about... Uh, uh, um, um, uh, hello? Hi. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me, let me mute the, the side channel. I've got too many windows open. Close the tab. Um, no, nah, fuck it. I'll leave it playing. I'll walk away. Hey. Um, ha -ha. Handy wireless technology. Anyway. No, I was curious, Nick. How old is the oldest uh, hookup <laughs> you've had? Let's see. Just curious. <clears throat> not bragging, but uh, seventy year old ish, whatever. I don't know. And I was like forty. <laughs> hey, beat thirty years, Nick. No, beat it for thirty years. I don't know. I don't know about this whole subject. Never mind. You know, uh, delete this voice right now. To uh, cartoon audio. years goes. Uh, that last song we heard was Parthelion by Cyber by Cyberpunkers. I just want to say thank you to the uh, uh, all the all the musicians that put all their music out on uh, uh, to to be to be listened to. 
Bye. Bye, everybody. Uh, let's listen to some more m music right now. So this this one is Trick or Treat. And uh, CJ Beards made this one. This, this is a good one. I like this one. Let, let, let's listen to this. We'll be, we'll be right back. <laughs> Once so sweet, you chose to deceive. No clothes, no more candy or a red rose. The wrappers are off. You've been exposed. Trick or trade or ask for not more. Gave her you cheat something good to eat. I once adore your behavior. Gave her you cheat something good to eat. Trick or trade or ask for not more. Gave her you cheat something good to eat. I once adore your behavior. Gave her you cheat something good to eat. Once so sweet, you chose to deceive a Rose, no more candy or a red rose. The wrappers are off. Case closed. Now we trick or treat a game to beat for all you wish. Enjoy the feast with your ear broken. Your dark maiden, you crushed my heart. The glass was thin, but I'm lashing out, breaking out, crush the doubts, open out, fade away. Will not stay. Put you down in your place. This guy's has something sweet. Tower and all to bleep. What was a once so sweet? Simply a trick, not treat. Lashing out, breaking out, crush the doubts, so burnt out, fade away. Will not stay. Put you down in your place. This guy's has something sweet. Tower and all to bleep. What was so one so sweet, something good to eat Once so sweet, you chose to deceive No clothes, no more candy or a red rose The wrappers are off, you've been exposed Trick or trade or ask for not more Gave her you cheat, something good to eat I once adored your behavior Gave her you cheat, something good to eat Well, <laughs> indeed, everybody, indeed. That was the uh, second the second song of the evening. Uh, I'm just sitting here in the sewer on the phone. I got all these calls. I gotta I gotta move this chair over here. Over here, oh, there we go. Uh, let's let's listen to another uh, another voicemail here. I mean, I, 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 hello. Oh, <laughs> but God damn! I must be drunk. That beep got me again. Uh, hey, Nick. Um, yes. Did you uh, on your trip to the Bostonian complex of tunnels? You were talking about in the uh, uh, caller. <clears throat> anyway, did you know, not tunnels, but I think uh, Singapore has like 1,300 fucking bridges. Singapore. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was New York. Fuck. I don't remember what I read. I'm listening to Nick the Rat. Who the fuck cares? Hey, adios. Papa. You're not listening to Nick the Rat. You're listening to your yourself, I think. It's uh, it's kind of like a that movie that movie Memento, where the guy was getting tattoos to remember what he did. You're leaving yourself voicemails to rem to remind yourself, uh, that you you called me. Yeah. Thank you for the call. That's um, good. Let's let's see what 
Let's listen to some more voicemails, maybe. When, when, when you have like five, there's like so many, uh, so many of them. You, you just gotta listen to some, some of them sometimes, and uh, I need, I need to listen to them right now. That's basically what's happening right now. Is I gotta, I gotta go through all these. It's like a test. It's like a, uh, prove, prove you're actually a rat. I will click all of these. And we shall listen to them together. If it exists, it must be uh, recorded for all sewer, all, all sewer kind. Hashtag sewer chat. I've, like this, this one right here. What's, what's this one here? Hey, it's me, Kevin from Philly. Hey, I'm sorry about the voicemails. Please don't play any more of them. I won't play any more. I won't make any more. See? Hey, Nick. Uh, question. I'm sorry. I gotta know. Is it, uh, Coke? Or Pepsi, what's your preference? Personally, I'm going to stick with uh, the fermented varieties. Uh, like the old German proverb, in wine, there is wisdom. In beer, there is strength. In water, there is bacteria. Yeah, I said old German proverb. We didn't really know about bacteria until, you know, fairly common recently, recent parlance. I mean, oh, yeah, that that was back before uh, uh, good old Jesus. Yeah, the, the master Jew. <coughs> anyway, adios, mofo. Yes. Indeed. <clears throat> Let, let's um, um take a quick musical uh musical interlude break with uh always always dream by Yun Saki.
You are here. I don't know where here is, though. It's close. Here is definitely close. I'm not too sure exactly where here it is. Uh, wherever here is, I think it's going to go... To, there's going to be just a bunch, a bunch more lawyers soon. Sorry. Every time, every time you talk, you, every time, every time you talk, uh, you talk about lawyers. You have to uh, um, look for those letters you signed in blood. And so I had a couple of uh, I had a flip through before I could say anything else. Um, but uh, thank, uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, by listening to another voicemail. Hey, Terry! It's me, Philly, from Nick. Hey, man, who's that uh, one voicemail there? That one uh, that guy that sounds like this. Hey, yeah. uh, keep talking, I'm about to come. Uh, right. <laughs> Who is that motherfucker, brother? Yeah, I wish I... Uh, I could meet that man in real life. I'd quit. I'd kick him square in the butt. I'm getting nervous. I know Kevin's gonna listen. Terry, Terry, listen, brother. Terrence, listen to me. Close to listen. Listen as close as close can be. <clears throat> I was talking to Harmonica Man the other day, and he's like, uh, <laughs> he's like, Terry, why do you believe in anything? What do you mean when you believe something? And Terry was like, Oh, uh, when I say I believe it, I'm like, what do you mean when I use the word believe. And I said, Terrence, you know what you know what we really mean when we use the word I believe this or I believe that? We mean that I think this is true, I think that is true. Or and at the same time we also mean because once you think something, sir, what that means is you want that to be true. So when you say, I believe in absolutes, you're actually saying, I want there to be an absolute. But sir, truth is not something you can want. It already is. You don't have to want the truth to be the truth. And if you are wanting the truth to be the truth, well, sir, you, you're actually wanting your own truth. You're actually wanting to bring the understanding of life into the verbal realm, you know, your consciousness, into, into knowledge. You're, you're trying to put the unknown into known, sir. So when you, when you really realize, when you, when you say belief nowadays, it just means I want this or that to be true, that's, well, that's absurd. But you can't want the truth to be the truth, you see. You can't want somebody to love you. You do. You, you have to keep going with this, sir. But then, the, the, then the mind stops believing in anything. You have to test it. But you're not. You're not a lawyer, though. You, you, you can't be saying that. Uh, anybody listening to this show, do not. Um. Uh, don't listen to, uh, if you unlisten to what you heard here until I've read some more of these papers over here because I think what you might have just heard could be illegal in at least a couple states two now I can think of them. probably Utah what you just heard and you, t uh, 
I've never been to Utah. I'd like to visit. I would go sober to check out mountains for like a week. It'd be cool. So, unlisten to what you heard. This MP3 does exist, but that's only for the people of the future and for culture's sake. So, the, that one's for everybody. Ah. Go. Ah. Let's listen to an another. So, uh, another song here. We got a song called Ancestry by Medieval Lo-Fi. I, I like this one. Go go to SoundCloud and uh, go go listen. To, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how, what they do, but, but they do. Haunted by mildew stains and soap scum? Terminate them with Tilex Instant Mildew Stain Remover. Spray Tilex on mildew stains and they vanish with no scrubbing. Spray Tilex on soap scum, then wipe it out of existence. Terminate mildew stains and soap scum with Tilex. Lightning doesn't have a uh, lawyers. Oh. Uh, Zeus now owns uh, Nick the Rat Radio. Did you hear that, scientist? You no longer have control over me. Zeus does. Yes. It's a, it's a sewer in the sky. Or at least on top of a mountain, maybe. 
things just uh things just change it's it's like everything is uh, alchemy magic the words the words to define what it is are too slow to catch up to what it can do and it does it faster than when you could explain it in a proper way and be ready for it it's like uh you already you already got it before before you even know it's uh wait a second We have to listen to another song here. This is Fiesta by the Linguini Bros. Yo, this is that travel shit. Uh, this one might be pin. I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a genius. Pasta. Search up way for with the A being on four. I'm with my homie Pasta. This is a Fiesta. I'm a cop by a resta. Homie, he's still my shit. Shut the fuck up. You sound like Kurt. I'ma stay on the grind, I don't care if I'm behind One thing I can say is that I am more yeah, confined yeah, just you do crew up with, with that K You the reason in my home, I just don't, don't stay. stay I'm on a kill streak, so I go to the bay That's where the guilt are, come on, I'm a fucking star If I ain't on your radar, that's what's the are. Yeah, I make a song, it's on the news Homie, I get money, I'm the one she choose Lil' bro, stop yeah. crying, drink your booze Motherfucker in the place, got the pipe the best test I make a blow, pluck a motherfucker Make cash, get a bag, fuck on a couple of the racks I'm not paying you, I am my own tax Yeah, I'm so suspense, bitch, I am the climax I make blood, bitch, I am the bull wax Tracks, bitch, no pierce, say bitch, I can switch Bit on my nerves, I'm a throw you in a ditch You make me angry, but you get me rich Can't make anything good like this, dumbass bitch I'm the way to get good, not my damn problem You just wanna be a with a bucket up, sorry Sorry, everybody. But they said they were going to sue me if they didn't play it. Oh, oh. I think I'm going to get arrested over here. Search up on Genius uh, lyrics, uh, waveform, but the A is a four. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Go play some Fortnite. And they've canceled people that are more powerful than me. They canceled J.K. Rowling. My God, J.K. Rowling wrote all the Harry Potter books by herself. She sold so many books, the Bible worries about her. And they canceled her because she said in an interview, and this is not exactly what she said, but effectually, she said, the gender was a fact. And then the trans community got mad as shit. They started calling her a turf. I didn't even know what the fuck that was. <laughs> but I know that trans people make up words to win arguments. <laughs> so I looked it up. Turf is an acronym. Stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminists. This is a real thing. This is a group of women that hate transgender, they don't hate transgender women, but they look at trans women the way we blacks might look at blackface. It offends them, like, ooh, this bitch is doing an impression of me. Reason for my call today is to confirm that you have received the compensation for your car accident that happened in the last 24 months. I did not get my compensation, no. Can you come again? I could come several times, like in a row. Remember how long ago you had this accident? Uh, last night I wet the bed. Can you hear me? Hello? Remember how long ago you had this accident? Uh, I told you, uh, like last night. 
Bitch. Do you know the most fun conspiracy theory about gold? No. It's from the uh, work of Zechariah Sitchin, who was one of the guys who uh, translated the ancient Sumerian texts. And he believed that the uh, human race is a product of accelerated evolution and that the Sumerian text depicts these godlike beings called the Anunnaki who come here yeah, yeah. from a planet called Nibiru that's on an elliptical orbit every 3,600 years comes between us and Mars. And one of the reasons why it came here is because gold is very difficult to find in the universe. And what he said was that they realized that they could take these suspended particles of gold and put them in their atmosphere and it would protect them because their atmosphere was eroding. And so this would be like a reflective particles they spray in the atmosphere. Like, it's a fun idea. It's, it's very a fun, fun idea. All if, that shit's if you're, fun. If you're doing bong hits and it, you're like you're watching high documentaries. high on hallucinogenic honey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that video of that orb planet-like object that went up to the sun and was literally sucking something out of the sun? What? What are you talking about? Well, I'll show the video. Yeah. It, it like was by the sun, this like dark orb, and it was just like, and then it goes, and it goes, ah. it's gone. And scientists are like, I'm not sure what that one. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I can't be sure. Well. <laughs> That was weird. But yeah, I saw <laughs> That's it. That's so scary. Like, what could that be? Well, because you know how Einstein talks about, like, dark matter. It's a physical thing. Space is not empty. It's Full. something. Full of matter and energy. Vacuum. It's it's yeah. matter. And so, like, is there a dark um, energy? <laughs> dark energy? What do you mean? You dark. in the sun out of all this energy? <laughs> I'm dark energy. <laughs> if I were to spell T-W-A, what would that sound like? Twa, right? Okay. Twa. What about T W E? Twee. Twee, right? <laughs> what about T W I? Twit. Twit. <laughs> That's good. Twit. Don't Why? help her. Don't help her. Oh, sorry. Twit. <laughs> okay. What about T W O? Twoo. No, sound it out. What is T W O? Twoo. <laughs> okay. Just sound it out. T W O. <laughs> and so don't get in our way because if you do we're gonna stand up and we're gonna organize and we're gonna speak up and we're gonna say we're not having that we're not playing that Donkeys who relapsed going listen man <laughs> I just need some liquidity, you know what I'm saying? I just ran into some bad subprime, you know? We just had complex formulas. We just didn't factor in greed and panic, you know? I just need $805 billion by Tuesday. Yeah, no, seriously. No, I would, I would not screw you again. It's pretty crazy. I've learned my lesson. Uh, no, baby, this is not like the other time. This, oh, no, this, no, seriously, I just, just try a guy. Throw me a bad head, man. Help me out. Just give me a little bit. Yeah, just a taste. That's all I need is a taste. Just, I need $2.5 trillion. Me, I'll pay you back. Get me through one week. Yeah, it's one like they're going to they're gonna print out a new $20 bill. The new Geithner $20 bill will be, you know, instead of in God we trust, it'll just say, trust me. And it'll be the little man from Monopoly <laughs> going like this. One of the recurrent images in your films is of electricity arcing, is of you know light bulbs crackling on, and you have a you have a recurrent motif of you know like two points and something arcing between them, and it seems to me that this somehow relates to what you think about the synaptic arcs in our brain. When you talk about TM, when you talk about these things, you talk about making connections. It seems to me that that's what that recurrent visual motif is about. And I know you hate saying what things mean in your films, but am I right in thinking that that's at least in the right area. No. <laughs> Say LeBron James uh, changed his gender. You know what I mean? Okay. Can he stay in the NBA? Or, because he's a woman, does he have to go to the WNBA where he will score 840 points a game? 
<laughs> what does it actually mean to be equal? You know what I mean? Like, if women are actually equal to men, then there would be no WNBA, would there? You would just be good enough to play in the NBA with us. Or, here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the fuck up. <laughs> hearing and over-the-counter that's benefits. rude now i believe you do have medicare part a and b correct? Oh, sure. i have a s and s okay this is all the information that i needed from my side to check your eligibility and it does look like you qualify i'm going to get a licensed agent to get you some more details give me just a second please licensed asian sounds a little racist i don't need to know their race Okay. Hi, my name is Chase. How are you doing today? Hi, Chase. How are you doing? My name is uh, Nick. I'm also good. Well, this call is in regards to your Medicare benefits and savings that you may qualify for. And I do believe you have Medicare for A I, and B, right? I have, I have A and B, yes. Okay, perfect. Let me ask you this. Do you pay any good pays whenever you go to your primary doctor or your specialist? Uh, my copay is usually I give them like a fake ID and I just leave after I get the treatment. You have a fake ID? Uh, yeah, a fake ID. So they don't they don't know who they're charging. It's a really good scam. You should you should maybe try this. Does that work? Can you give me a sponge bath, sir? I'll give you my ID. Sir? Sir, are you still there? Hang Did you hang up? He hung up. I wanted a sponge bath. Ow. Yo, this is fly. I ain't gonna lie. I think I can do this for eternity. I wonder if there's holes up in here. Hey, God, <laughs> what's up, bro? <laughs> Obviously you are, and I'm going to see you up in here. <laughs> Nigga, I know where you're going to go. I'm God. Man, you about crazy as hell if you think you're going to step up in this motherfucker. Be fucking for real, man. <clears throat> like, come on. Would you believe in you? You let the Holocaust happen and slavery and boba. Ugh. D do you even read the Bible? And boba tea is delicious, bitch. One Piece is the only Bible that I've read. <clears throat> See, that, that, that's okay, that okay, shit. Okay, okay, But you can't be mad at me because you made me like this. Shit, how am I supposed to believe in a nigga that made me poor with no bitches and abused as a child? Why would God do anybody like that? Like, you owe me, nigga. Wow. Saying God owes you is crazy. And excuse the fuck out of me? Okay. So I didn't believe that there was a nigga in the sky that could walk on water. But I was a good nigga. And I always respected faith. Nigga, you made a video about me doing cocaine. You know my heart. You also gonna make a video about me Harvey Weinsteining bitches to get into heaven. Why are you spoiling the future for them? You also pray before you beat your dick off at night. Like, uh, okay, but I asked for forgiveness though. Yeah, but you can at least jack off and then pray and then ask for I forgiveness. Probably... You're doing it back. <laughs> Man, if you can forgive niggas that drink Hennessy, a... you can forgive me. I don't forgive niggas for drinking Hennessy. They going straight to hell. S Understand. S South, but, South, South Beach. Can I at Griffith? least get a peek of heaven before you send me to hell, please? I gave you that on Earth when you was with that one girl. But uh, be my guest, bro. Go, mm. go watch okay. all of his videos right now. Just as I thought. No bitches. All right, guys, suck it easy. Hey, yo, say ten. Dreams are made of this Who am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas Everybody is looking for something Some of them want to use you Some of them want to get used by you Some of them want to be as you
Hey, brother, I uh, I know this is a podcast or whatever, and you know that you're playing these random voicemails. That perhaps maybe you are not aware of the content of these voicemails before you play them, perhaps. But I was, um, I had this idea, and I thought of you, sir, and I wanted to tell you this idea. I wanted to explain something to you, something that I saw. But when I called you just now, I can't remember what I was going to say, sir. But I, I, I went through with the call because I wanted to see if I was comfortable enough for that idea to come back into being. Do you understand what I'm telling you, sir? I'm telling you that I called you from an idea. That idea was lost, but there was still an understanding that was trying to call you. I'm learning this with you right now. If it doesn't make sense, <laughs> I don't blame you, sir. Most of us are not swift enough to, to catch what is happening now. But, so let me just go ahead and try to um, pretend that I'm fucking driving. Pretend that I don't have a fucking cop behind me. And uh, pretend that I'm not smoking weed. You know, I don't have to pretend all this, sir, because these things don't scare me. No, sir, there's no need to scare. Well, it's more that I am now aware of fear coming into being. You see? In the beginning, it was, uh oh, here it comes, I must fight it or go with it, or et cetera, et cetera. Now, I see that it, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. That's the only duality, sir. It and is it is of the mind a thing something you can think about is is what is happening now life itself sir. and just to fyi if you don't understand it's because you've been stuck in the it you've been stuck in your mind sir. the mind as in thinking now the mind has another action What's that other action, sir? Are you interested? What is another action of the mind besides thinking? I think that's where I should leave you, just to make sure you you are interested and not just wanting to, quote, unquote, entertain others. I don't know. I, I don't want to try to be mean to you, brother, because that's what it sounds like. Most of us will never understand our own thinking because we get hurt. Inevitably, inevitably, our thinking is untrue. It's never true, sir. That's, and then we are unwilling to face that. That's why we get hurt. Our whole lives are centered around our thinking, sir. I'm this. I'm that. I'll do this. This bitch did that to me. I better do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do, 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 sir. <laughs> and, uh, we never step out of this to question if any of this doing, any of this, uh, works of society, if, if, if being a nihilist is really not nothing. If I was a nihilist, sir, in the true sense, there would be nothing. But no, I am trying to think of nothing in the terms of a nihilist. I, meaning, I, I want to be a nihilist. Now, what a nihilist is in true meaning is, well, someone who is not anything. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to think of not anything. I don't know if you understand this, but it's quite simple. Uh, things, something, is what the mind can think about. No thing is that which the mind cannot think about. So if I'm trying to be something, I'm trying to be a product of the mind, which is always not, it's really, it's not nothing. It's a, it's a piece of material. It's a matter. That's not even real. You see, it's an illusion. Are you with me, sir? 
So the nihilist or isms or is are always trying to bring what is into the realm of, of thinking, sir. You know, have you ever not thought something, sir? <laughs> and even if you are listening and there's no, you know, thoughts going in, there's still a, a thought process happening. You understand? Just because the top mind is silent doesn't mean the bottom isn't boiling. So, I wonder if you're with me, brother. Anyways, thank you for having me. And, uh, thank you well. Hey, may God bless you this night. May God bless you this night. There was once a spiritual person named Anjali who spent most of her time meditating and practicing yoga. She believed in the power of the universe and the existence of a higher power that governs everything. But one day, her curiosity led her to explore the world of science and its wonders. Anjali became fascinated by the laws of physics, chemistry, and biology that govern the natural world. She began reading books and attending lectures to learn more about the scientific principles behind the world we live in. As she delved deeper into science, Anjali discovered that the universe was not just a mystical force, but it was also a complex system of natural laws that could be understood and harnessed. With her newfound knowledge, Anjali started experimenting with the laws of the universe to create new forms of energy and technology. She combined her spiritual beliefs with her scientific understanding to create a new kind of power that could change the world. Anjali's inventions revolutionized the way people thought about energy and the environment. But as Anjali's power grew, so did her ambition. She saw the potential of combining spirituality and science to create a new kind of world order. Anjali started using her powers to control the minds of people and bend them to her will. She became a cult leader, revered by her followers for her incredible abilities. With her army of followers, Anjali slowly began to take over the world. She used her spiritual powers to create new technologies that would give her even greater control over people's minds and bodies. She built a vast network of followers who were loyal to her and would do anything she commanded. But as Anjali's power grew, so did the resistance against her. People began to fear her and the power she wielded. They saw her as a threat to their freedom and their way of life. Anjali's enemies plotted against her, determined to bring her down and restore the natural order of things. In the end, it was a group of scientists who were able to stop Anjali. They created a powerful weapon that could neutralize her powers and render her powerless. Anjali was defeated, and her followers were scattered. But even as she lay defeated, Anjali knew that her ideas would live on. She had shown the world the power of combining spirituality and science. Her legacy would be the birth of a new kind of movement, one that would continue to push the boundaries of what was possible. Anjali's story is a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked power. But it is also a testament to the incredible potential of the human mind and the power of knowledge. It reminds us that we have the ability to change the world and that we should use our power wisely, with care and compassion for all living beings.
My name is Nick the Rat, and I got enough. I said I got more than enough for you. Yes, sir. I got more than enough for you, little lady. Tonight, today, tomorrow, we'll fight today. <laughs> Nicholas, don't play this one. Nick the Rat, I got the more than enough for you to chew on. That's true. I said that you are me, yeah. I am a you. Listen to me, Nick, who drive you are a me. Yeah, that's true. And you got to be the seed is within. Hey, man, if I said for the Boston Bond way, I just get the French then Listen to me, Nicholas. All of you Nicholas the Rat Lickers out there, because you are Nick the Rat, sir. All of you madams and sirs, mademoiselles and gentle rats, you're all each other. There's no real difference between you and what you hear, what you see, what you think. It's all you, darling. <laughs> Why don't you wake up, little rat? Goddamn dick is big as a bat now. Fuck. I got it more than enough for you. Ooh, baby, it's true. I come on too strong for you. You push me away. <laughs> I am home today. The only thing to stay. Listen to me, Nicholas. I love you, brother. May God bless you this evening, sir. Who the dang is this? Have you ever wanted a brand new car, but you're too damn poor for it? Well, Sir Bemrose & Co. have a solution for you. All it takes is a shot of semen and an of-age vagina. Sir Bemrose & Co. is now offering kids for cars. Have a kid? Want a car? We'll trade. 917-719-5923. Kids for cars. Sounds like a deal to me. That's a slanderous ad. It's not true. They uh, will give you anything you want now for cars. Because they have boats. For dogs now. It's crazy. They've upgraded. I'm trying to get worms for fighter jets. We'll see what we could do. Yes, I caught a hottie. I caught a hottie. I don't have for me. I caught a hottie. Yeah, I leave out for me. Why don't you hide? Want some bond again? You think today? What none to say? I wanna feel your brain. Listen to me, I brought some bond again. On your pitch, time, time, pon, for horse of bond. It's the right, yeah, bond the bond. Then down, and it's the bond of danger. Oh, mind the danger. You think you know, you make a podcast and go, and rolly roll, you never know the holy show, 
Oh, let's hold the show. Rash hit you coming down. Rash hit you coming down. Big rash you coming down. Get a bubble. Down on the shin the money, dude. What's the matter with you, fucker? Huh? You think I'm you and you're me? It's not what you think, sir. I am you. You are me. I'm the booty, you never know what's in the ball that goes to show. You want to do your stupid dope? You want to call into the podcast and fuck up? Well, sir, listen. It's not your goal. You can't fuck around. Well. Because Nick the Rat is just that. He's a fucking rat. He got his nest hole. He saved it up. Oh, both him said. I am you, you. I say you and me. Motherfucker, don't believe this fucking tea. Hey, just listen to me. What are you listening for, sir? Why have you made this podcast? And why are you fucking listening so intently and trying to communicate? Which means, what, what does communicate mean to you, sir? Do them move. What does communicate mean to fucking you? <laughs> uh, it means to come together at the same time. Uh, not in the fucking bedroom, sir, but to fucking meet somebody, sir. I am a you. I'm you. You are me. We don't gotta get fucking IV. They the audible. If you can hear me. You don't even have to understand me now. I'm fucking you. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, my young folks. I, uh, and boil? Story word for word had all of my history. Would you go on with someone like me? I did before and had my share. I didn't feed nowhere. I would go along with someone like you. It doesn't matter what you do. Stick around and see this night be. Oh, we don't care about the young folks Talking about the young side And oh, we don't care about the old folks Talking about the old side too Oh, we don't care about our own folks Talking about our own stuff Oh, we care about is talking Talking on me and you Usually when things has gone this far People tend to disappear No one will surprise me unless you I can tell there's something going on Hours since you disappeared Everyone
one is leaving, I'm still with you. It doesn't matter what we do, but we are going to. We can stick around and see this night through. And we don't care about the young folks, talking about the young stuff. We don't care about the old folks Talking about the old statue And we don't care about our own folks Talking about our own stuff All we care about is talking Talking on the me Talking on the me and you I said I'm fucking you I'm not fucking you with my uh, vagina But I am you there's no different lines between you and me. Yeah, just see. Don't look with you, just fucking see. You can be. Nick, go right, light and see, but it don't matter what it see, but you, you don't. All the dude and shit, and if I fuck my head and then eat, we're nice, get them faithful, nice, you're great, I eat it, you I am a rat, I want the rage, I found the fire, I come the highest, I've been to the highest, yeah, you can too. I want you to. Not because you're me, you are me, but because I want you to love you too. Come on, Mr. Rappy. Marty, don't ask what a fucking ghost is, you fucking idiot. I need the move. Right. I need move. You can see what our dead things are, sir. You can see what ghosts. Awesome. If you were looking in front of you, just fucking look. Hey, this is what you have to do, sir. You got to be completely sober for like three or four months. And then look at you. See? Look at you. Look at what you. You are the world. You. You are the world. You are making this life go by. It's not what you see. Don't fucking get fucked up. It's not what you say. Don't get fucked up. It ain't listen, boy. But it's all you. And all of this is fucking you. Every person that you see, they're all stuck in themselves and they're just fucking you. Yay. 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 You feel me now, Nick the Rat? Did I love you? Me? I am you. Goodbye.
three, two, one. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm, uh, ooh. I don't know what is going on right now. Are all the city planners corrupted? Is that like a thing? Is there any way, is there any way to get rid of uh, corrupt city uh, planners? There's a lot of questions out there that are not being asked. And who exactly is watching your data th these days? Who? Oh. Are you? Do you do you even know you have data? Seems like you can't get rid of them. I've seen uh things said about Star Trek. Some people love it. I'll, I'll watch it soon. You could stay. Bye, Non.
Hey, Nick. So, so here I am reading through some, reading through some old, uh, like college notes and shit. And I had a moment of brilliance. It was great. I had written down a life hack that I didn't see on one of those, uh, TikTok or YouTube short, none of that shit, cause it wasn't around. But, uh, life hack. Save water. Pile your dishes into your bathtub. And next time you and Diane take a bath or shower, like once a month or whatever it is y'all do, yeah, just soak and wash your dishes while you shower. <laughs> Genius. Except the shower water comes from the sewer. Uh. I guess if it's a bowl of sewer soup, it doesn't matter. Anyway, adios. Love you. Call me, buddy. Hello? Is this the thing on? <laughs> oh, next week. Next week, we're going to have Mimi Dvorak on. Everything you got to know about eggs. Dot com. Live call in show. It's going to be cool. I will not be as high as I am right now next week. Hello? Is this thing working? Too many, too many eggs? Hey, hey. I I just heard that incredible voice now uh, from Mr. Harmonica. And I think he has a good track going with that. But I was thinking and wanted to tell you, I learned from you too. And along with you. And I uh, was thinking, you know, it is important to learn from the universe by oneself. However, it is also undeniably fun to learn along with companions of one's choice and enriching, you know. Mm. one perspective alone or one journey in consciousness alone might not be able to achieve what companions can achieve together learning and exploring true it's <laughs> it's a wonderful ride this rat-a-tat-tat stream and sharing with you and listening to you um and we can flow all together. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great show. I agree. Uh, good, good voice. Good voice. Uh, let's listen to another another voicemail. Sorry, the sorry, the phone lines aren't open. I don't, wait, are they? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. <clears throat> but what I do know. There were more voicemails. I just don't want to play it out of order. If I believe something and I wanted to learn about something, if I wanted, if it'd be like if if I wanted to look at something, 
and I had a belief. It'd be like, the belief would be like me looking through a window. I wouldn't be able to see the complete thing. Or if it'd be like me looking at a tree only from one angle. I'd see the tree, the tree would appear, but I wouldn't see it from all sides. I wouldn't see it completely. Is this David Lynch? Also, where there is a center, observation is limited. What I'm getting at is when you observe from the network of the self is accumulations of ideas, wants, it says this whole, uh, the machinery of the self. When you observe from that, your observation is always limited, like I said. So we, we run into a problem right before we even start learning about anything is that, first of all, to learn something new completely or to observe completely anything, One would have to be free of one's all ideas and all of one's beliefs, which basically means you would have to be selfless right at the beginning. And that's <laughs> that's a whole other problem and may be the only problem we have, an understanding of ourselves and how to observe without the self. Because we're not saying to delete the self. The, the, the self is an expression of our understanding. That's what it's meant to be used as. Understanding uses the self. But nowadays, words, which are, let's call them, you know, I, they're with all their ideas or whatever, attached to them, have totally taken place, words and definitions and knowledge have totally taken place of understanding. And it is the words and knowledge Yeah. Give me more. And it is the words and knowledge and understanding, uh, the words and knowledge that has taken place of actual understanding. Very few of us understand life. We're just getting by on a, a complex machinery that was inherited. A way of thinking that has been, well, forced or inherited or whatever. So, how am I to be selfless in questioning? So, <clears throat> before we even begin, what I would ask from you, sir, madam, is that you you watch and listen not only to what is said, to what we're looking at, but also that you watch every reaction inside you. You watch yourself <laughs> and your and the and your and it's and your reactions to what we're talking about here. You're not secretly holding on to an idea, waiting for the other to quit talking so you can talk. What I want you to do is or if it, is to watch is to watch that. Watch the actions of yourself. Okay. Because then you'll get to understand that those are just reactions. 
and they are not actual. They are not actually They're not actual, they're not actual. So, that's it. So what I'm trying to say is, before we even begin, there must be a, a passive yet alert awareness within and without, just to watch every movement in your reaction, sir, not to run off with them. And, because, sir, if we start talking about beliefs, well, you may have a belief. You may believe in God. But that belief in God, well, You womanizer. You womanizer. I was alone and humanized me. You're disgusting. <laughs> you rough bastard. I shall have your children nail them to bricks and throw them at you. <laughs> right. Bastard. Bastard. <laughs> the future is going to be lawyers and soldiers. This episode of Nick the Rat Radio did not happen without the help from people like you. There is a, uh, a donation segment of this show. I'm going to hold off on doing it until uh, uh, when, when when I could find Diane to help me do cause she was supposed to do the, the stack of the mail and organize all the notes and let's just say Diane is still A little bit like a puddle. A little puddly. There's limbs. There's limbs now. And the puddle can move independently. It's kind of cool. It's a... We do have more voicemail, though. Hey, Nick. <clears throat> Beep. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I actually wanted to call in and talk about uh, Eureka's Castle. Yeah, and the Muffets. Um, would would you think they would redo? I mean, I know they didn't any Matrix. Would they do a Muffet Matrix? Or I don't know, didn't Muffet it. Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, or oh, Stargate. Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't know, sci-fi Muffet, that, that just seems cool to me. Uh, yeah, Eureka's Castle. She was, she was kind of hot. I mean, cute for a, for a muffin, Muffet, whatever. Uh, do you think, like, in another, like, Muffet dimension, do you think, uh, Kermit and Piggy, like, really got it on? What about Eureka and that, like, woolly mammoth thing she had? Do you think he used his trunk, uh, tentacle type thing? Like one of those, um, anime, uh, uh, hentai type things. I don't know. Would you watch that shit? I mean, Muppet movie, not, not hentai. But, um. Muppet yeah. hentai, wow. Anyway. Interesting. Not really. Hey, do you have any Muppets in the sewer? <laughs> Adios. Kermit uses an Where the fuck is the, oh, the hang-up button's covered by your paused video of last week. Oh, sorry. I gotta stop recording these things. Uh, 
things are hard. <coughs> oh, excuse me, Zindu. Or should I say, Nick the Rat. Uh, listen, buddy. I hate giving voicemails now because all you do is make fun of me. So when I'm trying to communicate with you and help you not die sad, listen, <clears throat> Zindu is a fucking moron. He's asking all these questions, but he's just trying to prove that he's smart. He's preaching. Is you don't have to. An, an intelligent person doesn't have to prove that they're smart. Sir. They just, they are smart. Die. And they and speak you, intelligently, is, like like I'm doing right now. I, I, I have a clear and I have a clear view of what Zindu is. Zindu is a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm at work. Don't worry about how much I get paid. All these questions, sir, that you ask are irrelevant. Oh. And what you really need to be asking yourself when you ask these questions is, how does this question help me understand myself? Because if I don't understand myself, then I don't understand life. If I don't understand myself, then all of my questions are just further confusing my own self, strengthening my own confusion. Yes, Zindu. I, I, you know, one thing about aliens, sir, is that, you know, a human race is about to destroy itself. Well, quite possibly. But, uh, some of us are trying to save us, but um, <clears throat> aliens, they have technology to, you know, go inter intergalactic or whatever. I won't get into it, but uh, aliens would have never evolved to the, to the state that they are without love, without understanding life. And that's what man has lost. He doesn't understand life. He doesn't know what love is. He doesn't understand himself. He doesn't understand what's going on right now. Now, what he's doing is he's dependent on knowledge, and it's using knowledge to live through life. Knowledge without understanding ends in conflict and misery, ends in destroying yourself. So the aliens that have this technology or whatever, they, they have this, they have grasped the understanding of life. They, they've evolved to that point. Man is still yet to evolve that, to that. Well, so, uh, <sighs> Zindu, you're not a fucking alien. You're still a little, you're still a little illusion. Someone who's living in conflict. Yes, sir. And all your questions are just, oh, I'm Zindu, and just because I can synthesize my voice, I'm smarter than all the three people who are listening to me right now. So, uh, don't play this voicemail, and if you do, I'll sue you. Um, I think Booberry and Lavish are going to be on soon, too. Maybe. And this division divides us from the outer. The conflict lives in the mind. The illusion is in the mind. The mind, having created this conflict, created its own illusion, cannot be aware of it. So it must approach it indirectly. Brother, have you ever wondered if there's a, another action of the mind other than thinking? Other than some... process of thought at whatever level, sir.
And the guard said, uh, no, I have, I've never, I've never questioned that, Mr. Harmonica. Okay, we'll see you later, Mr. Harmonica. And all of a sudden, Mr. Harmonica teleported outside out of his, out of his cell in front of the guard and then teleported back inside. The guard noticed this, but he was so completely aware of it, he didn't remember it, and just walked to the fourth door. Now, in, inside the fourth door was Kevbot. Kevbot had completely stripped himself naked and was sitting on his bed with his erect penis out. On top of his erect penis, he was stacking peanuts which he had accomplished to stack about 13 or 14 separate peanuts on top of each other, on top of his penis. And he was involved in trying to add more to the top. And the guard saw this and banging on the door. He said, Kevbot, what the hell are you doing, son? And Kevbot looked at him and says, Ah! Yeah. I'm crazy. I ain't never getting the fuck out of here. No, wait. He goes, ah, oh, shit. He says, no, <laughs> I did. I fucked that punchline up. Check it out. He goes like this. He goes, oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll be back next week. Most probably. Yeah, we'll probably... Oh, by the way, Midnight in the Sewer? Did you hear about the government-funded hour shrinkage ray where you think something happened, but it didn't really happen? Then you wake up and everything's okay the next day. Sometimes there's just like mistakes and glitches in reality. It's fine. Just become a, just become a lawyer or, or a soldier, I guess. Because, uh, what, what, there's, there's these tech jobs, these tech coding jobs are uh, coming obsolete. Who's checking the code? All I have to do is say that your machine kicks somebody else's machine's ass. Especially if your name is D.S. Howard. We'll be back next week. Out. Oh, yeah, we will. We will. Yeah.
I meant to say, <laughs> I meant to say, we are mind melding. We can mind meld and dream fast. Yeah, it's wonderful to do this together. Right. <laughs> Ciao. Audio. There's crazy thunder going on. I don't know if this thing picked up or not. That's all I was calling about. Do you believe in thunder? There's this man who wakes up one morning and turns into a... of this rabble, so that's it. The party's over. I'm so sorry, how thoughtless. I'll stop it at once. Fine. Oh, is this a real conversation or an imaginary one? Imaginary, of course. Oh, thank goodness, it's a wonderful party. <laughs> no, get off!